Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with um, a slightly different video. Uh, today's video is going to give you guys an opportunity to really work on a sexy cinematic. Uh, basically what I've done for you guys is I've created um, a folder which the link will be in the description to download. And it's going to have a cinematic in there and some really nice um, audio effects uh, to put over the cinematic or even over a montage. Um, so before we go any further, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what we're going to be doing today and then we can crack on and do it. So yeah, uh, that's what I did this morning, uh, I think it looks pretty good and now I'm going to give you the guys an opportunity to do the same thing. Um, so what we'll do is, obviously the link in the description should have this editing pack now. Make sure you extract it first so you can use the files. And in there is obviously quite a lot of um, audio and obviously the cinematic clip there. All you want to do is simply drag that into FX, put it into your project bin like that. Uh, make sure you're on the project tab up there and then simply dragging this cinematic into the timeline which I've just done there um, so what we're going to be doing today is going to work on a color correction and how to make the screen wiggle that's what the bit we're going to be doing after effects anyway so you can either do your color correction in Sony Vegas or if you've got after effects obviously because you're watching this <laughs> um, you can go to effects and you can get this plugin called magic bullet looks very simple to get search on YouTube Please don't ask me because I can't tell you. So, um, yeah, go up to your, once you click on your cinematic clip and then go to effects and then magic bullet. In magic bullet works, you can create loads of nice effects um, over here doing all this good stuff, or you can just use a preset. Just for time purposes, we're going to be using a preset. It's under a tab called popular films and it's called blockbuster. So, what we're going to do is click on that, put that on, and click OK. So now we've got this really nice color correction going on. Uh, the next thing what we're going to do is work on how to make the screen wiggle or look like it's like a handheld camera, but do it, you know, really nice. So click on your cinematic clip down there, and what you want to do is go to Where, New, and then grab a Null Object. Then what we do is click on the cinematic clip again and go to Where, New, and this time Camera. Should pop up with a little window like this. Just press OK. So now we've got the three um, things in the timeline. The next step what we want to do is when you click on camera is you want to press P on the keyboard for position. And then what we want to do is see the little stopwatch down there. You want to press, you want to hold Alt and then click on the position uh, tab like that. So now you'll see this red line coming up and in here it should say transform dot position. What we want to do is click in there and just delete that. Now this is the point where you set how much you want the camera to wiggle. So first of all, all you want to do is just type in wiggle, like so, and then you open bracket. And the first part is you set in how many times you want it to wiggle in a second. I usually go somewhere between 3 and 6. Uh, for this one, we'll just go for 4. And then what you do is you press comma, and then now you want to set the amount how much it wiggles like side to side. Um, I recommend between 25 and 35, so you have a play about uh, for today, let's just go 32, we'll go for 32, and then close bracket. Then all you want to do is just click off there. Then what the next step is to do to actually make this wiggle is to connect the camera with the null object. So here on the null object, make sure you clicked on that, you'll see this circle thing, it's called the Pickwick tool, basically it's just a an extravagant term for calling it connect. So what you want to do is click on the pick whip and then drag this line like that onto the camera. So now that your null object is connected to the camera, so basically the camera follows this red bit here which is the null object. Then what you want to do is also click on the bottom one, the cinematic clip, grab that pick whip tool and now connect that to the null object like so. So you connect that one to that one and the bottom one to the second one. So now if you were to scrub across on the timeline like this you see that the screen starts to wiggle. But what you may notice, I'll just try to find a spot where it's more obvious, 
here at the top that you're getting some black around the outside so what you want to do is just go back to the start of your clip and all you simply do is just drag the corners out a little bit like that so it just basically stops any black lines as it wiggles so you can see the um, like the gap that I've got around the edge that looks pretty good yeah about there so now it's just to go across you won't see any black lines around the outside but you'll still see the wiggle so that's how to do the first bit in After Effects and obviously what you want to do is render it out I'll just quickly go over my render settings because some people have different ones so go up to your composition um, render, add to render queue and then click on best settings just make sure you've got it on the same rate that your clip is, this clip's 59.94 so just make sure you have that there click OK and then click on where it says lossless and make sure uh, a lot of people leave this on video for Windows but that's an AVI file which are massive and can take up a lot of time to render and um, you know a large file so I always put mine on to QuickTime Movie, it renders pretty much at the same quality and it renders faster and the file smaller so just do that click OK set the output to where you want I've just got mine in After Effects output presets and then simply, simply click render um, I've already rendered this clip out so there's no need for me to do it um, once you've done that then what you want to do is you want to hop into Sony Vegas there we go so once we're in Vegas uh, what you want to do is you want to find that clip that you just rendered out um, bom bom, where's mine? And mine's there. For some reason, I've called it crash, but don't worry about that. So drop that into your Sony Vegas timeline. So now you've got that there. What we're gonna do is basically work on the audio. And as you've seen in the the graphics pack that I've uh, you know given you guys, there is quite a lot of um, audio ones. Um, you can make a really nice combination with these. Um, so let's just go st straight away. Let's grab some wind drag that in and simply place that under your clip um, you may need to, just to go across and find a you know a part where the wind sound nice I know it's about there for me so I just press S on the keyboard split that delete and pull that over so that's the wind and um, then if you go back um, thunderstorm let's grab that one so basically I want to find somewhere where the thunders you know starts to crack there so Delete that, pull that up, and keep going back. So you can just keep going through all of them like this, um, you know, putting on the ones you want, um, you know, listen to them first if you like. And then what you can do, you know, if one's too loud or too quiet, uh, it's pretty obvious. Just turn up the volume there, the decibels and stuff like that. So if we just to give that a quick preview, just with two of them, looking nice, thunder cracks there, and it looks really nice. So it's basically just um, you know going through, pick some ones which you like. So once you've done that, uh, just simply render it out, and um, yeah, that's it. So I mean, um, I really this time I'd really like to see some video responses from you guys, whether you use you know this cinematic or a different one. You know how we you know using different audios. Let's try try get a few sent in and just um, you know see what we've done. Uh, but in regards to uh, this tutorial, yeah, that's about it, guys. So any queries or questions. You know, feel free to give me a shout and I'll be more than happy to reply to you guys. And um, yeah, that's it guys. Cheers.